it's springtime and this document was just published the 2021 air venture oshkosh notum which is the instructions for flying into the air show it has a big change compared to previous years on pages four and page five they have expanded how the vfr arrival works as back as far as Oshkosh 1995, the VFR approach began over the city of Ripon. For the 2021 event, instead of one option, there are now four. You will need to listen to air traffic control and the ATIS carefully to find out which of the four starting points they're using. It's always important to read the notams and read the procedures and follow instructions. This year, it's going to be especially important because this is such a big change. Airventure.org. Flying in Notum. You can order a pre-printed booklet. I did that when I flew in in 2018. It was super handy. If you click on that, it has this form. For now, we're going to download the Notum. This page has a totally new thing. For the AirVenture event, VFR arrival no longer only begins over the town of Ripon. There are four different entry points that will be selected by air traffic control on the fly. One of the options is Ripon, this waypoint, but then the southwest corner of Green Lake, the southwest corner of Puckaway Lake, and over the town of Endeavor Bridge. Here it's de it delineates sort of the four starting points and it says Endeavor Bridge, that's the one that's farthest away, will be used for extremely high volumes of traffic. So it's really important that you don't just set Ripon in your GPS, then fly toward it without listening to the ATIS or listening to the FISC approach. It will be very important to listen to the proper radio broadcasts far enough away so that you can begin your approach at the proper starting point. Here are the four points. These now have VFR reporting magenta flags and underlined names. So Endeavor Bridge, VPENV, is here. Puckaway Lake is here. Green Lake, VPGRN, is here. The town of Ripon, VPRIP, and the town of Fisk, VFR Approach Control, VPFIS. I hope you find this video useful. I hope you come to Adventure Oshkosh. I hope you fly if you're able to. If you do, please carefully read the procedure. I'm going to have some other videos in the coming weeks about air traffic control and flying into Oshkosh. Read the procedure, read it at least three times, have a list of frequencies in the cockpit ready to go. Be in command of your aircraft and never stop figuring stuff out.